One advantage of having these wrapper classes is that they contain some useful built-in variables and methods. The integer class, for example, has two useful constants, integer.min underscore value and integer.max underscore value. These represent the smallest and largest values that an integer can hold. The integer and double classes also contain static methods used to convert strings into numbers. These are called directly from the class. The integer.parseInt method returns the primitive int value of its string parameter. The double.parseDouble method also takes in a string parameter and returns its value as a primitive double. Another interesting consideration when it comes to wrapper classes is autoboxing and unboxing. Autoboxing is the automatic conversion between the primitive types and their corresponding wrapper classes. When we declare a variable of type integer and assign it the primitive value 13, Java does autoboxing to convert 13 to an integer object. Unboxing is the opposite. It is when the conversion goes the other way and an integer object becomes a primitive type int. These allow us to use each primitive type and its corresponding wrapper class interchangeably. Java performs autoboxing and unboxing only when the wrapper class constructor is not called. Wrapper classes are used to convert primitive data types to objects. By using wrapper classes, we get access to their constants and methods.